cow had a baby a few days ago, so let's see if we can go find it. Left behind, obeyed the line, always a goal. So we've been on a bit of a roller coaster, haven't we? And so I wanted to do a check-in video because the season is officially changing. It is officially winter. Although I suppose that is December 21st, but it's gotten cold. The flowers are all gone. There's more dirt than shrubbery at this point. And it's just that time of year where the time has changed. It's longer time inside. It's time to check in as the next phases of this season of the adventure begins. The clock has turned back, so darkness falls in the afternoon, and the time indoors stretches into so many hours, I don't even know who has it harder, me or freedom, as we are confined to our very tiny space. And while the air around us is turning colder, the ether that surrounds us is also changing. And I have to say, I am just so very excited. Oh, Living in such a tiny space, it's a lot harder in the winter time because I have to spend so much more time inside. So that part is a lot harder, but I just want to check in and say, uh, update about how things change and the seasons change. We had our first baby. I've only got a little bit of footage I can try and show you now. When the babies are new, they don't like people around them, so they keep running away every time I try to get close. So I haven't got very good footage about the baby being born, but she's so cute. I love the babies. The re she's early. It was a mistake that was made last year, but the rest probably won't come until maybe uh, February or March. So. <laughs> Day to day, it's just been about uh, trying to get ready for winter, do the last finishing touches. Um, here in America, we have just witnessed what could well be the second revolution for freedom in these semi-United States. The people rose up and voted. They voted out who would have been our first woman president, but also the most corrupt of politicians this country has ever known. So the floor is totally rotted out in certain spots. I couldn't get that piece of carpet out. But basically this thing is empty. You can hear the hollow. So there is like a million things I still have to do in here, but I don't have the tools or the money for the parts or that kind of thing. So we're kind of on hold until I either win the lottery <laughs> or some other miracle takes place. So until then, the trailer is about as done as it's going to be done. And as usual, the whole getting rid of the trash was a nightmare. God, it is hard to do the right thing. Are you ready? And while we hover on the brink of economic collapse, World War III, and a level of uncertainty that circles the globe, I am just so very excited because underneath it all, it's this feeling that we've just begun something so powerful, so historic, it will ring through the annals of time. And I am amazed to be just one tiny part of it and blessed to understand it so that the fear melts away much more quickly than the snow that's fast approaching as winter descends upon us. It's in the air of liberty, freedom, and rebirth of the last phase of death and destruction before the coming spring when the old will be cleaned away and the new burst forth from its tiny seeds. They were planted so very long ago and yet tended so vigilantly by so many and yet so few. And all I can think is, here we go. And I am just so very excited. Always a goal. You fool me at the bottom line. I lie afraid. Oh. Just want to 
wanted to check in, say hi, because we are on an official roller coaster ride for the next few months as we wait to see what changes, what doesn't change, and what spring will bring, not just in America, but all over the world. I'm really excited. <laughs> How about you? Are we in the same Are you still here? Awesome. How about we make this a regular thing? If you'll watch, subscribe, and follow along with me, I'll help keep you accountable if you help keep me accountable. Because that is a very good way to spend your day. See you next time.